Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's classic time today. So this this puzzle is by the T-Rex 15, and uh, it's called Bubbler. So a classic Sudoku that gets a name. I think the rule is that has something going on. And um, I have heard that Jovial and Shy, who rate classics, say that this one is adorable, which is a fascinating adjective to apply to a Sudoku. Those people who you meet who don't understand why you do Sudoku and why it's interesting, tell them that this Sudoku is adorable. <laughs> Watch them puzzle away over what that could mean. But let's hope we find out. I mean, I am not brilliant at difficult classics and tricks in classics, so maybe we won't. Or maybe we won't during the video, but only from the comments. Anyway, mentioning Jovial and Shy reminds me that they have created another language, which is not another language, it's another classic Sudoku. And we're running a competition on Patreon at the moment for another week to find the most elegantly described solution path to explain the trick in that one. And uh, that's really interesting. So we're waiting, we were getting some ideas in and we're waiting for more. And I think we'll hopefully be able to leave it to, uh, to the two of them to judge which is the most elegant and entertaining solution. I don't know quite what the criteria are. That's what I'm guessing. Um, and what else is going on? I mean, there's always stuff on Patreon, but that's the current thing. On the first of the month, we will have a new challenge and it's going to be a pretty stiff one, I think. We're looking forward to bringing you that. We will be streaming at some point this week. Don't know exactly when. We've got our book out. Oh, no, we've got our Kickstarter begun for the book. Uh, that has two or three more weeks to run. And uh, we're hoping that we can get a lot of people pledged in so that we can reach a lot of stretch goals and put more content in the book. So do encourage anyone you know to do so. Um, there's all our apps that you can get to them in the links under the video, along with Sven Sudoku Pad, etc. But the first link is to this puzzle called Bubbler. And yeah, okay, I'm going to see how we go about it now. No idea if this will turn into a usable video. It, if I can't solve it logically, it probably won't, but let's find out what happens. Okay, so we've got lots of digits in the central box. We only need a five and a one to complete that. And we don't know what they are. Um, I'm not seeing any write-ins at all, which is not surprising in a clever classic. I think I'm going to be forced to do our Snyder notation. So the notation I've done here is central cell notation, which means that for each of these cells, the digits are limited to those possible candidates. What I'm going to do now is let's just go through this methodically. Look at fives here. Because of those two fives, there must be a five in these three cells. That one tells us it can't be there. So the five in box three is in one of those two cells, and I'm putting it in the corner to indicate that. There's a six in one of those two in exactly the same way. Seven is in one of three cells there. I'm going to mark that just for now. Uh, and four is in one of those two. There's a lot of repeated digits in these sets of rows and sets of columns and boxes, actually. So we've got a seven somewhere there, a three somewhere there, a six somewhere there, and an eight somewhere there. Five I don't know about. Down here we get a nine in one of those three. In the columns, oh, it's very symmetrical, isn't it? Five there, seven in one of those, six in one of those three four in one of those, six in one of those two, seven in one of those two, uh, two, five, six, seven, two, nine. Yes, nine in one of those two. There we go. I can't do the five. Oh, and I've got no repeated digits in that set, whereas in this set, which is, it's all symmetrical about this axis in terms of where the givens are. And all of these pencil marks have been sort of symmetrical as well, until I look at those and see no repeated digits. Whereas when I looked at these, I do see the repeated nine. It's, that's the only difference I can see between, between what's going on across and down. And it's given me nothing. This has given me nothing. Ah, hang on. Four is limited to one of those two cells by these 
fours, which eliminate all of those. That's not anything. Two is in one of those. Three is in one of those. Hmm, okay. That's not been all that helpful. So I might need to start trying to find cells that have only two candidates and seeing if I can find anything useful about those. Actually, down here, down here, these are from 2, 6, and 7. That's the only other place for 2 to appear in the column. And that can't be 6 or 7. So it could be 2 here, 6, 7 here, and a 1, 9 pair up here. Ah, what it can't be is 6 and 7 in these two cells, because that would make these two unfillable. They'd both have to be 2, and that doesn't make sense. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if this means anything or not. 2, 4, 3, 8, 5, 7. That's 1, 6 or 9. That one is 1, 7 or 9. I am actually just going to mark these just in case. And this one is 1, 2 or 9. This, it feels like a significant set. Let's have a look across here. Although with the repeated 9, this might not be as good. Um, it's not. These are from 3, 6, 7 and 8, which is a different group. Again, 6 can only be in those places. 7 can only be in those. Ah, could this be a 7-6 pair? Because didn't we work out it couldn't be up on the in column 7? Seven? 7-4-6, seven, yeah, but it can now. We can put a 1 there and an 8-3 there, and that doesn't really get anything done. Oh, look, that is a 1 or a 2. Ah, if it was a 2, 2 would be ruled out of all these cells and have to go in there. So we've got something similar going on with, well, what's this? This is one or three. So again, if it was a three, three would be ruled out of all of those cells. Ah, and have to go in there. So that can't be a three there and a two there. Oh, so one of them is a one. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous. That's probably adorable. I don't see why not. This has to be a 5. OK, what am I seeing here? I'm seeing if this was a 2, none of those could be a 2 because of this 2 and this 2. And 2 would have to go there in a cell I shall call purple. If 3 was there, then 3 couldn't go in any of those cells and would have to go in Mr. Purple cell again. So that can't therefore be both 2 and 3 in those two cells and therefore one of them is a 1 and this cell which sees them both is not so that is a 5 that's very nice now is that actually going to solve the puzzle I doubt it but let's let's play along as though it was going to we get a 1 in one of those two a 1 in one of those two now That still hasn't limited these. Um, never mind. One nine six seven. We've, we knew there was a two in one of these. Seven. This is from one three or four. I don't know if that's worth marking. It doesn't feel like it. So if I oh bother. So one of these is a one. If they were both ones, it's old Mister Purple that would have to be one. Oh, so purple is going to be 1, 2, or 3, because if they're not both 1s, we know in fact that one of them is a 1, but whichever one isn't, is. Well, either, either they're both 1s, in which case Mr. Purple is a 1, or one of them is a 1 and the other is a 2 or a 3, in which case Mr. Purple is that 2 or a 3. So this purple cell is either 1, 2, or 3. Now, does that mean something for eights and nines? What about these cells, eights and nines? What have I learned? Have I learned anything? Oh, I don't know. This is such a strange puzzle. Um, I 
Oh, that's one six or nine as well. What are these? Four, five, six, three. Well, that's one seven or eight, but somehow that doesn't apply here. Why does it apply here or doesn't it? No, it doesn't. I'm absolutely losing my mind. Four, five, seven, two. That could be three or eight. So I've got nothing on that. Now, what about this crazy purple cell? If it was a three, we'd have a three here. If it was a three, is it because, yeah, one of these has to be the same as that. Mm, but I don't know which side it is. Definitely got a six there. These are from one, three, eight, nine. These are from one, two, eight, nine. Does that mean there's got to... Yes. Yes, these dominoes up here can never be an 8-9 domino. Yeah, that's really interesting, actually. Maybe this is adorable. They can never be an 8-9 domino because if they were... Well, no, hang on. Yes, if the... yes, it's right. If they were, if this was an 8-9 domino... This would be a 1-3 domino and would break this cell. If this was an 8-9 domino, this would be a 1-2 domino and break this cell. So one of 8 or 9 is in that pair, and one is in this pair. And the other of 8 or 9 is in this pair, in row 1, along with the 6. So now we can't have a 1 there. This is from 6-8-9 this pair. We've got a six definitely in either eight or nine. And down here, we've got either eight or nine and a seven. So this one is not one. Either eight or nine and a seven. So now that has an effect on where one can be in this column. It's got to be here. That is genius. So that's a one, and purple, Mr. Old Purple over here, is not a one. He's a two or a three, which is putting either a two there or a three there, and I don't know which. That's not a one. Now, is this... I'm not sure this has blown it open. There's definitely a seven here now, because we've got this sort of seven X-wing going on there. What about down here? One of those is one or two, and the other is eight or nine. So, so is it about, yes, it's about one in this row. It's there. So we're getting lots of ones. That also stops one being in Mr. Purple, but we've done that. Neither of those can be a six. So there's a six in one of those two cells. Now that is a two seven pair. That is gorgeous. That really is adorable. Right, nine. Six, that's not six, but I don't know whether it's eight or nine yet. Five, two, seven, one, nine, four there, six there. Let's take out the corner mark there. We don't need it. This is three or eight. Oh, there's no seven here. So the seven in the row is at the beginning, and that one isn't a seven. And these are from three, six, and eight, which is a bit less constrained than this pair. And that's because of this symmetry issue with the nines there in a sort of way, I think. Anyway, never mind about that. One is now in one of those two cells. Six, four, one, two. We've got a nine. This is a five, seven pair now, according to the pencil marking. So that is three or eight. This is three, eight or nine. There's a sort of triple here. Uh, there's a three in one of these two. Hmm, I want... I don't know. We're not going to end up with three there and two there, although we are going to end up with one of them being three or two, aren't we? Because one of these is a one. Oh, it's so weird. Still, it's a weird puzzle. Two, three, that's one, eight, or nine. One, nine, that's two, three, or eight. 
Ah, no, I was going to say maybe that's the only place for two in the row. It's not because it can be there. So I'm still scratching around a bit. It's this lack of symmetry. This must break it open. Now, how and why? We've got a six there and a six there. This pair. Seven, four, one, three. No, not very helpful. There is a six in. Oh, no, that's a five, six pair. That is more helpful than I realised. By Sudoku, because of these fives and sixes, that's a five, six pair. So four is still in one of those two. Five, six, one, seven. That's eight or nine. That's two or four. Two, three or four there. Don't think we're getting any doubles or triples here, are we? Yes, we are. We've got a two, three, four triple. So that is eight or nine, making a pair with that. So this is one or three. Can I do the same sort of thing? How did I get that done? It was so I was looking in this row, one, five, seven, six. Now that is eight or nine. This is three or four. Ah, this one's more open. It's two, three, four, or eight. So I don't. How can that be eight? Because that could be three. That's why I don't get an eight, nine pair in the row. Okay, let's just use the one I got in this column. Two, three, four. We've got the eight, nine. Now down here, one, five, six, seven, four, three. That is two or eight, and that is two, eight, or nine. So there's definitely a two in one of these cells. It still all depends on whether this is a two or a three. So, that's such a clever puzzle. Something must break if it's one or the other. And I don't know what it feels like it is. Oh, Simon's so much better at this sort of thing than I am. Now, come on, let's just focus. We've got that eight, nine pair. We've got an eight, nine there. Oh, look, there's 8, 9 there and 8, 9 there. So that is part of an 8, 9 pair in this row. So that's a 1, 7 pair. 1 now in this central row has to be here. And that is a 1. And that's not a 1. And that is a 1. And that's a 3. And now I think maybe we can finish this adorable puzzle. And I'm not being ironic. This is so nice. Now, five, one, now that three, that gets us two or eight here, which means the only three in this row that's possible is Mr. Purple, which I should have worked out as soon as I got the three there. So we've done Mr. Purple. We can put a three in here as well, get rid of the pencil mark there. Now, this has become those two, four, and eight nines are just pairs. Um, hmm. Two, four, five, six, eight. I might have to start colouring eights and nines still to figure the way through this. No, I can do seven and one down at the bottom of column five. Seven and two, that resolves. That two places a two here. Gives me another eight, nine pair. Oh, so clever. Um, three, two, one, seven, nine. And yet it's still holding me up. This is remarkable. Um, five, four, three, seven, two. So one in column four is there. That is six or eight. Ah, oh, this sees an eight, nine pair. So that's a six and that's an eight. And that fixes six and five. Let's look along the bottom. We can do five and four. That's not an eight. That's a three. So we've got a six, eight pair and a three there. This is four. Now, this must be done. It's a nine. Got a two, eight pair at the top of the column. Um, all these eight nines still to be resolved. That's not a nine. It's part of a two, eight pair now. Three, eight, nine, one, seven. Six is in those cells. <laughs> Let's do it in central marking. Six in those cells, five in those, two in those, and four in those. These must all be resolved somehow. Yes, three is looking up at that. There we go. Eight, nine, three, um, two, eight, two, nine, 
8, and that's going to fix all the 8 9s that I was worried about, 9 8, and we can nip across and do 6 8. Now that 6 fixes this quadruple, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant puzzle by the T-Rex, bubbler indeed, it bubbled along, and that is the solution, that took a long time. Um, yeah, in a competition I would have bifurcated early on, not seen the beauty of the puzzle, almost certainly. I mean, there were two beautiful things. I think that cell was beautiful. But sorting out the purple... Ah, oh, it was really clever. It was this... This domino stuff, wasn't it? Ah, oh, I loved it. Loved it. I hope you had a go at that and enjoyed the symmetry and the beautiful logical conclusion of it, because that was good fun. Um, and we will be back with something a bit more variant tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the channel again soon. Bye for now. Oh no, that's the wrong button. Bye for now.